Now, on Monday, 3rd March, 33-year-old Shahab Jamshidi was formally charged for the offense of causing death by gross negligence or recklessness. Jamshidi, a Canadian national, was arrested by police in connection with the drowning death of four-year-old Terrell Joshua Eli Box of OJV4, which occurred on Sunday, February 22, 2015, at Bois-Chador Beach in Beanfield, V4. Jamshidi is a medical student from Hamilton, Ontario. He was granted bail Tuesday by the Second District Court. A bail was set at ten thousand EC dollars, cash or suitable surety. He is not to leave the island without the court's permission. He has been asked to surrender all travel documents. The thirty-three-year-old is also to report to the Grosley Police Station every Wednesday, anytime between six a.m. and six p.m. He is to maintain his residence at Cap Estate, Grosley. Meantime, friends of the accused have taken to social media with a campaign simply called Free Sahab. On the website, people who have encountered the aspiring doctor are asked to submit test testimonials about the Shahab they know. The postings thus far express shock at the arrest of Jamshidi, who is described as an upstanding gentleman who has, who has dedicated his life to helping others. The creators of the website say it was done in the hope of raising awareness of Shahab's character and to prove his innocence in the midst of all of the confusion. Our deepest condolences go out to, for, or to all for the loss of the little boy, Terrell Joshua Elibox, and will keep his family in prayers, according to the website. However, Shahab and his family are now also victims too in this tragic accident. Shahab and his family are also mourning the fact that their son, who almost lost his life as well during the rescue mission, is unable to come home to them. Instead, he is locked up abroad, literally. This story makes absolutely no sense, the website continues, to whoever who hears it and reads the details. In fact, in what is said to be a journal kept by the accused, Shamshidi writes, quote, that day started off like a perfect day where I went from kite surfing in sunny St. Lucia, which is one of my favorite things to do, and turned out horrible. It turned into me being locked up and accused of a horrible crime. How did this happen? This place I loved so much and called my second home it has now holding me prisoner from trying to save someone's life. No, in several of the postings, questions are raised about the possibility of Jamshidi being able to balance himself and the child on the narrow surfboard. One contributor wrote, quote, This is not just a sport, but an extreme sport. Do you think a professional kite surfer would think about bringing a four-year-old to do this? Jamshidi, who was scheduled to leave St. Lucia last Thursday, works as a personal trainer at a gym in Hamilton, Canada, and is a trained doctor awaiting residency. He attended medical school in St. Lucia, where he is also a member of the kite surfing group. Jamshidi also made headlines late last year in Canada, where he rescued a teenager who was found injured on a rocky trail. Jamshidi had been out mountain biking when he found the youth who was bleeding and didn't know where he was. He used his medical training to assess the youth and then took him to hospital, according to a story in the Canadian publication, The Record.